Hello everybody, welcome back to this the thing that is entering Gungeon style. Welcome back to beating the Gungeon style. We are playing <laughs> as Paradox. Oh boy, howdy, what a start. That is some humble beginnings, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, Pea Shooter has obviously great synergy or so it can get. And on the starting floor, it's... The fact of the matter is, it's it's better than a lot of starting guns. Kind of. Sort of. It's like... It's, it's, it's about on par with some other starting guns. Obviously, we're not talking like the crossbow or the sawed-off or something like that. I'd say it's worse than the sawed-off. Uh, or maybe on par with a little worse than the sawed-off. For sure. Uh, definitely worse than the crossbow. That much is guaranteed. You know what? I might be fooling myself. It might just be worse than all the starting starting guns, and I'm just trying to trying to feel good about it. But anyway, as I said yesterday, today is definitely the run where we complete our uh, our frightful in the gray Mauser challenges. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. We have two totem pole boys left. Two. Count them. One, two. And we had them two left yesterday as well. Man, this gun's bad. Okay, this gun's pretty bad. Uh, we had two left yesterday, or whatever, whenever the last episode is. I don't freaking know anymore. I don't know my schedule. Who cares? It's all video games here, baby. Subscribe for them every day. Who, which games? Who knows? Usually roguelikes, that's for sure. Usually Gungeon also. But, uh, you know, pea shooter, who cares? We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll see if we can make it work. I think we probably can. Humble beginnings does not mean humble ends. Whoop, this may become a dirty, nasty, rotten weapon. Oh, that's the start of something beautiful. Not with the pea gun, not with the pea shooter, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's definitely the start of something. It's, a, it's very much a combo item. It's a very much a combo item that uh, we don't have the other piece for yet. We need a very... Fast firing active item, something like a uh, something like a ring of triggers, like a compass, jet jet pack, uh, eye bomb companion app. Uh, yeah, just something we can activate like a lot. Okay, we're probably not gonna go to the sewers today. Let's see if we can um, maybe not break the water barrel just in case I change my mind, but I. I doubt it. I feel like we pretty much need to get infinite keys or something. Pretty much need infinite keys at that. Well, pretty much need infinite keys at this point for me to want to go because a, a random green chest is a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. You love to see it. We did. We do have the marine starter. I think the marine starter is better than the pea shooter. I think I would take the pea shooter maybe over the convict starter. Maybe. They, they feel pretty uh, pretty similar, but I think the pea shooter's like a little more accurate. It has a little bit more range, which is pretty much the thing I kind of don't really like about the convicts starting stuff is the range. I mean, I like that it's unique in the fact that she is, you know, she's different. She's up, up close. She's not like the other characters. She, yeah, she gets up in your in your grill, up in your darn teeth. Up like, a, like that loose spinach you didn't know about. Right before your public speaking. <laughs> Never happened. Hey, look at that. We were just talking about you. All good things. All good things. Yeah, I mean, this is a recipe for... I mean, we'll go, like... I think the odds of this being another red chest or a black chest actually are very low. Like, I think that uh, it's, it's really... It's uncommon normally, but to get two on the same floor... Uh, it's, yeah, okay, I was gonna say. I believe that it is uncommon, and to get a second one makes it 90% less common. So, this is the one day where I might actually use you. I might use you. Impress me. Oh. Impress me in, in just a minute here. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Impress me. 
Brick of cash? You know, it's like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. I, I don't know. I feel like I should like it more than I do because it should be more reliable than it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just, it doesn't actually seem to always fully work. I know that, I think they, um, I think they patched some bugs with it or something at one point. But I've just never really... Wouldn't have been funny if it was just right next. Just never really loved it. It's never impressed me. I think that... Uh, didn't we explore everything now? And the other thing is... Yeah, I know. We, we got to backtrack this floor. Normally, it doesn't have, have to actually add any backtracking to anything, though. All right. So, it's either... After the boss, or we it actually might not even activate I'm adjusting my chair. It might not even activate its effect, which is putting the little helper boy. Oh look at that. I don't trust you active item. I just don't trust it at all. Alright, so that brown chest is our gun. So that is that's interesting. We got definitely got some of them humble beginnings there. I think this is it's one of the easier rooms to fight the Gatlingal in, but the pillars... Gatlingal plus pillars is usually really helpful, but sometimes with his jump, there's like a... It's kind of weird and like a little glitchy. A little glitchy. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> why did that go on like three times as long? Is it because I called you glitchy? That's got to be an insult for an enemy, you know? They're like... No, it's strategy! Actually, mister, it's strategy. That one actually did trip me up, because it's like, if it's a, if you're a boss that has patterns, it seems like, you know, what's the best strategy? Oh my god. Yeah, see that? What the hell? That jump. It's so weird. It's so weird. And it feels like it only happens on the, the ones that have pillars. The best strategy as a boss would be to just change up your patterns like five percent you know you know what i'm saying like instead of uh just shooting yeah like right here if he just had a delay after he stopped and then he just did one more you know like just a troll oh! <laughs> just a troll <laughs> that would be so good so good at getting you to get bopped i i don't trust this i just don't trust this item ever uh, okay this is, uh, this is a meme of a run, that's for sure. I find it hard to believe that there is, uh, no secret room on the floor. But I also find it hard to believe that I would want to search everywhere for it, so I'm just gonna just say that. That's that, and hope that I didn't miss nothing. We will junk this chest. Maybe we'll get junkin' finally. It's been a hot moment. It's been a hot moment. In a hot moment still. On to the next. On to the next. We'll see, we'll see. Still don't have that beautiful ring of triggers situation, but you know, the lowercase r, it's it's better than the starting guns. What a what a triumph that is. You are better than the guns they give you for free. It just, it's got, like, nice ammo capacity. Not that that really, like, you know. It, 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 <laughs> the starting guns have great ammo economy because they're literally infinite. But it's just, it does more damage. It fires, it's a little more accurate than some of this other stuff that you get slapped with. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> we sacrificed a shield for a half heart. That's just almost always strictly a bad trade. Almost always. Because I'm probably going to leave, you know, not... Not to toot my own boot, but uh, we're probably going to leave this floor with full health, you know, one way or the other. So, I would rather have full health and a shield than just have full health, you know? What is happening? And then I'm going to watch. I'm going to get hit a bunch. going to get hit a bunch, and I'm not even going to leave with full health, and uh, I'm going to toot my boot for nothing. I tried so hard. <laughs> 
It's so hard to make make value there. Yeah, I can't wait for a gun that is stronger than literally a letter and uh, and a pea shooter, like literally a vegetable. Cannot wait. Whoop. Bonk. And it seems like we're getting th slapped with so many high health enemies, too. Holy moly. I'm not going to say we got bad luck right now, but here's the fact of the matter. We need to talk about some, a little something, something called magnificence again right now. Like, everybody, uh, people seem to have uh, confused opinions about what magnificence is, and it's because it's, it is kind of like a weird gray area stat, but I'll tell you one thing is true. Magnificence exists. It's out there. <laughs> it, magnificence is out there, and Ring of Triggers is an A-tier item that currently proposes uh, uh, no value. Poses no value to us. It proposes no value either. I've been asking for it to propose, but uh, we get no value at all from it right now, really, because uh, our guns suck. Like, we, we have value, but it's it's definitely not A tier level. So, the more A tier and S tier stuff uh, you get from those chests, the less like the are you are to, uh, to get more, you know. So basically, we started with garbage, and then we got a, a what the game considers to be a very good item. You know, it considers Ring of Triggers to be a very good item, and it can be, but it's niche. It's niche. We need something. We need more. We need more to go with it. So currently we are being hindered by the fact that we got it until we pop off. And it, I'm not saying we won't pop off. In fact, we probably will. I, I feel like most of the time with Ring of Triggers, I pop off. We'll, we'll get a gun that is better for, for this. Or if we get an active item that is more uh, active, <laughs> you know, that we get to actually activate more often. Both of those things would help help us pop off. Significantly. Get out of my life, my friend. Yeah, there. Get in the pit. I said get in the pit. But we are on, uh, yeah, we're on the gungeon proper, so we kind of need to, I don't know, we need to save up our money for the rat key. We're not going to get any normal key. If you don't get any RNG key drops or the ability to steal, quite frankly, God, I really wish we needed these guys. Oops. Quite frankly... We're in a really bad spot to fight the rat. Like, I don't think I want to fight the rat with the stuff I have. It'd be such a slog. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is everything the worst I've seen? Winchester? It's Winchester trolling me from the breach. Wherever you are. Maybe we'll see him. Whoop. I could really go for a Winchester right now. He exists outside of Magnificence. Heck, that would be great. We might not even get 115 shells, which is hilariously sad. This is them trying to keep the Rito down. They're trying to keep me down. We are not, honestly, if we don't get enough money for the rat, like, what uh, What am I going to do? I can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about that. It's just going to, it's going to stink and that's it. We have poison immunity. No, we have, we have fire immunity. All right. I, I kind of like to, I know we can, in theory, stand still. God, I just... Oh, man. Every time I turn it on, I just get freaked out. I feel like I get hit when I put it on more than I, you know, like, get help from it. Like, I, I feel like it makes me get hit because it curves the bullets and then it goes away. You know? And it, it, like, messes up the trajectory of them and then it disappears. There's some situations where it's helpful. Like, e.g., uh, the Dragon Phase 2. Stuff like that. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. 
excuse me. It's taking, <laughs> taking too long. Always does two. Always blue. Always two. Okay. So far, so bad. But it's happening, you know? We're alive still. I don't like this positioning. I hate to be on the same actual horizontal level with her. I feel like it's usually not where you want to be on this fight. I like to be horizontal with her, but a little bit south. A little bit below. Okay. Did we not find a secret room again? You know, it's something. Where is that secret room, boy? We did not get enough money to go to the rat. Did I seriously, did I miss the secret? You know what, maybe he was in that room over there to the left. We didn't actually explore it. Hmm. This freaking item. It's just... The pits. Brick of cash. That's the other thing. Isn't brick of cash technically like a... Eh, I think it's a green, green chest item. I stink it's a green chest item. Boy. Boy. Boy, oh boy. I... I just don't know, gang. Caliber's got it out for me today. When Huntsman's your best item? I mean, like... I, I know I shouldn't sleep on Huntsman, but... Alright, well... Okay! Okay! Whoa! Okay, part two! Excuse me! I actually like this. Because this will generate a, an item for us. An item's an item, you know? Come here. Could be a, an, I think it's usually a D tier item, a, aka like a brown chest. So there's some pretty good brown chest active items. It's something. Okay. Okay, video game. Let's do this first. Okay, we're we're getting there. We're slowly, like, we started with a penny. We're trading up for, like, a, a home. You know. Okay. Um, I... Oh. This, it's become a... It's, it's becoming a run. We got some things. RPG, Ring of Triggers. That's something. That is something right there. All right. Wow. That I like. That I like. Of course, of course. What's not to like? I can't believe we didn't get enough money to go to the rat. That's pretty bizarre. That's pretty darn bizarre. But if we could get some coolness so we could ring of triggers more, that'd be great. Or obviously a new active item. I feel like we found our... Uh, we found our lovely ring of triggers item, though. Our ring of triggers gun. A better active item. Ooh, do we have any? We have to have curse. We have to have curse. We gotta get this jam, boy. He drops two keys because he's jammed. Busted. Absolutely busted luck right there. God, I love that. All right. Things are turning around for old Rito McGee. We have curse from Katana Bullets. This is, uh... This is probably gonna make this run overpowered it usually usually feels like it does i mean there's a key 47 like that's great we'll obviously come and get that so we'll do that in a smidgen let's let's step number one let's uh we're, we're the run's over we we won everything's great just like that the black market is Truly, truly ridiculous for a run, usually. 
You need over 100 shells, one curse, which we would have gotten over 100 shells anyway since we didn't buy the rat key, which is, you know, I'm kind of happy we didn't get the rat key today, you know? In hindsight, everything happens for a reason. Bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get that extra one key. We'll get the A key forty seven, which will be fantastic. Don't need to conserve these. I just had to think about it for a second. Cause this is floor three. <laughs> Usually we go to the rat here. Usually we do go to the rat here. Bye. Yep. Ooh, nice RPG there. Nice moves. I don't know why I thought there wasn't going to be a shop through here. But I up in there, what else was there? I saw KC, obviously. I mean, we should probably do... Um, we should do Winchester. You know what? Foreshadowing. I said we were probably going to see him earlier. We totally did see him. It's usually a good idea, especially if there was wax wings in there. I don't think there was. And we don't have flight otherwise. Yep. We're getting ammo out the wazoo. You would assume we'd have, like, a lot of coolness, but we don't. Holy Grail was there, too. Holy Grail is another absolute buster. Banger supreme. Especially with guns like this. Ooh, you love to see it. Kaga Battle, too. I mean, great. I probably shouldn't have spent my money there. But, like, this is, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's crazy. And 24 shells for the Holy Grail. Yeah, it's busted. A lot of that stuff is busted. All right. This one, I think, is one of the ones where it's pretty easy to get three. He says... It's very easy to get three, <laughs> but, like, I find a hard time getting four. <laughs> okay, so, uh, 24 shells or whatever the heck it was, casings for the M16 is very good. Very good. Uh, we got the AK-47, didn't we? We did indeed. Yeah, this run, uh, run turn around in that one. Magical moment. Whoop. And now we got a run. I, I felt it. I felt it in my, my bones, though. Who needs a rat? Who needs a rat? The black market is probably one of my favorite things to see. On a run where you got the stuff for it. The AK-47. Oh, jeez Louise. It's just... It just good, you know? Just straight facts. It's just, it's a very good gun. It's one of my favorite, uh, it's one of my favorite guns in the, in the whole game to get, to be honest. You know, just like, it's a solid gun to kill with, and it's infinite keys. What more do you want? It's, it's ridiculous, to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get how it, it can exist. It's just so wonderful and so generous. And so kind. Ooh. I like hot lead. It's just nice free damage. Took my hand off the keyboard for some reason. Probably because this is a uh, very much a win now. All right, now we double check. Barrel is a maybe. We do have the Holy Grail though. What was in here? Kaga battle. I mean, I would love it, but I don't think we're going to get it. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Beep, 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 I think this is our highest DPS. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I saw that coming. I was trying to just sneak away long enough to activate my uh, fortune's favor. But I did not consider the fact that uh, it, was, <laughs> it was it was a ways away. It was a little ways away there. 
Also, I don't know if I would trust it anyways. Who cares if we get hit now, honestly? At this point, we maybe just conserve the blank for something. I don't know what. It just doesn't matter. We got, we got three HP in the bank. You lose the mass around. Nothing matters. Boink. Boink. Bonk. Ooh. That's a synergy with what now? Fire immunity, baby. The hell's this? What is this? What is this? What's this? What's this? What's this? There's garbage on the ground. What's this? What's this? There's corpses lying down. What's this? <laughs> All right, we don't have any money to do that. So basically, it's like, do I want the barrel? Sure, I like the barrel a lot. I think it's a very good use of money. Do we have, though, the way to get the, uh, no. Gun I don't think we have anything for the Gungeon and Cindy, but there's synergy, but there's tw like 20 things it feels like to get it, so I probably am wrong. I just didn't feel like sitting around to... Sitting around to get it. How far are we in the episode? 26 minutes. Okay. I guess we did some... some... I have always hated you. That enemy is one of the few in the game that actually can do, like, some BS hits. They used to be worse, actually. Believe it or not. They used to be worse. They used to, uh, be more likely to spawn on you than they than they are now. And it is... The, the, the enemy that used to be the worst in the world, though, that I'm so glad they fixed... The, uh, the Gungerers, the people that spawn the, uh, the little, like, swords that chase you down. They used to, I mean, they still spawn behind you to an extent, but, um, they used to telefrag you. Like, almost exclusively. <laughs> like, they, they, BS hits were most of the hits on those guys. They, they, like, oh my god. I haven't thought about that. I haven't thought about that in years. Come on, where are you? Where'd he go? Yeah. I kind of figured we weren't going to get him, but that's okay. Doink. 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 Actually, this with Ring of Triggers is pretty slick, too. Kind of turns it into, um... Whatchamacallit? Turns it into... Why is Bullet crying? Oh, it's the, uh... Yeti. That should not have worked. Hello. Eat Yeti. Eat Yeti. Hmm. I was talking about something, wasn't I? Probably. Oh, uh, camera. How uh, camera with the uh, ring of triggers is kind of like uh, bracky key, I guess. Probably what I was trying to say. Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. It's like low-key, low the trickster god, bracket key. I don't want it. Oh, too late on the blank. You know, I'm not mining these fire explosions since we are, you know, fire immune. It didn't work as well as I thought it might. What's this? What's this? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Ammo. Ammo shrine with the Holy Grail. Yes, yes. This seems like a real gamer move. Uh, it's unlikely that we can skip that room, but I'll, you know, never do those rooms until you have to. It's just, you know, some... Oh, mister, you tried to do it, didn't you? You said, remember old times? And I said, hey, mister, what are you doing? All right. Uh, oh. I think... I think we got a great run today. We, it came out of nowhere. Uh, I think that the black market exists outside of Magnificence as well. I could be wrong, but I think Magnifici Magnificence only applies to items from chests, question mark? So, I, I think that that's the case. I think it's only from items from chests. 
so. <sighs> Our curse is getting pretty high, isn't it? I mean, we got the Holy Grail and Katana Bullets and the Huntsman. 2.5 curse for buying that. <laughs> nope. What even was it? I totally forgot. What was in there? I just said that. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely memory. Wait, do we get the Yeti with uh, with this too? We do get the Yeti with that. That's the way to go, baby. Ah, yes, the Charm Horn. How much is it? 49. I mean, 2.5 for getting it. The item itself is not cursed, so it would be 2.5, so we could drop the Huntsman. We could sell the Huntsman, rather. In fact, let's just, uh, before we do anything, let's sell a couple items and see where we're, where we're at. I'm definitely selling this. To drop some, you know, drop some unnecessary curse. Get some money for it. Honestly, screw you. I don't even, I don't even care about waiting to get, you know, to get the stuff from it. The rest I'm kind of fine with. All right, so we got 145. Anything worth buying here? We don't need a key, we have infinite keys. Okay. I think that has to be the kill pillars. Oh! Sick dude. Sick dude, nice. Sick dude, nice. I like it. Did not think we were going to get two in one day. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It does, like, I think it exists outside of magnificence, you know? So it's like... It's a good way to get extra stuff. Yet another one that's, um, very easy to get three on. A little bit less easy to get four. Should we just do it? Oh! R.I.P. Eyeballs. R.I.P. Eyeballs. We got Ring of Triggers, a big shooty gun. R.I.P. Eyeballs. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to do it yet because then we can do it on the boss. Never kill enemies with rolling. Alright. Let's do it. Yep. Yep. Doing good damage. I can't. Why? Why aren't you charging? Why aren't you charging? That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. That what? That's what you came to be. Oh. Oh, oh boy. And then the Vulcan Cannon. Just the freaking icing on the cake. We can use it. And stout bullets. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. This run just got so spicy again. Like, when will this run turn down the spice level? To be honest, it's just... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a, it's a meme. Nice meme. You know, 34 minutes, let's go. Let's do it. I kind of just judge where we're at for time when I do this. Uh, that being said, I'm going to sell this. I'm not going to use it. Take me away. Kaboom, baby. 
Yeah, I mean, like, uh, <laughs> katana bullets are gonna be the biggest challenge we face this run. <laughs> Not the enemies. No. Katana bullets. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, if we get uh, an active item that fires faster... <laughs> R.I.P. Eyeballs. R.I.P. Eyeballs. Doesn't even matter. We can't put it into a machine. There's no machine on this floor. Slowly just mowing our way through. And jumping in the pit strategically, of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. The katana bullets. They're putting up blockades. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. I mean, falling in the pit was strategic in a way, because we did actually... We were about to run out of ammo in this gun, and now we don't have to. So in a way, that actually was strategy. Aside from the fact that it... Obviously, that too, that too, that too. Sorry, I just... I, 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 sh I should turn down my strategy, though. Hello, boss. Hello, boss. Damage cap is probably the better thing to say. I don't want to hit him with the actual bullets. See, yeah, look at that. Look at all that, all that damage it does. A big whopping little bit. Oh, that's right. We actually have the... I forgot that we actually have the item, too. I mean, I kind of want to be closer, but also, yeah, at the same time, we're going to get hit. But it's fine. If we get hit, then we get guaranteed ammo for this... Oh, for this thing. I did the wrong gun. I got all the good guns! Okay. Ah, oh, he didn't say it today. They should make it so he has to say it if you have uh, at least one gun above the A tier. Heavy boots. Is there any reason why that's uh, good to us? God, the color on this looks terrible. That's so gross with the hot lead. It looks like vom. All right. Uh, heavy boots. Yeah, no reason why it's necessarily good. Don't have any shotguns either. Only one we had an option of picking up was sawed off, and that doesn't even have the synergy because the convict starts with it. <laughs> Next. No totem poles today. I can't help but notice. Can't help but notice. I just have no rat boots, so do not. Do not do this room the way I normally do. There's definitely a chance to get totem poles here. There's definitely a chance here, and there's one chance in bullet hell. Could. Oh! Heck. Ride the momentum of the uh, of the blank effect. Be honest. <laughs> God, bite me! Bite me! Ah, heavy boots. We don't get pushed by the uh, the treadmill. It's a good thing, I guess. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Ooh. It's time to stop. Obviously, we have the big boy, uh, big boy scariness right here, too. Woo Hello there. I guess it's room clear. Alright. Good deal. Thank you. We are actually, like, weirdly hurting. It's just because we took... We haven't been getting hit very much this run. We just took two hits as soon as we entered this floor in a goof goof session.
Okay. I feel like we... Yeah, we do have... We have a couple synergies. The Atomic Fire one is fun. Obviously, the uh, the Flash one can be uh, very meme -y. I just like the visuals on this one, to be honest. Is it strong? I mean, maybe against an enemy that actually can be set on fire. Eh, not either. It's effectively just the same as the Pitchfork, really. It's just a Pitchfork. Which is not to say that that's bad, because Pitchfork's a really good supplementary gun. It's a good number two, you know? Good pit, uh, good knockback like Pitchfork. It's obviously sets him on fire and it's got piercing. Not to mention the fact that, yeah, the visual, is, the visual on it is pretty dang slick looking, if you ask me. I kind of want to, uh, I know this is not the best. Oh, I, I, I want to use the Ring of Triggers to see what that looks like. It's just very cool. I mean, clearly it's the uh, it's the visual effect that the fire traps on the ground do. But it cool. Oh shoot! Double shoot! Because we we just wasted that. We wasted it anyways. Oh my god! This is awful. All right. You know. I know we don't got the uh, stout bullet effect there, really, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. 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 Nice memes today. We lost the master round and we sacrificed one. Rocket powered bullets are great. Especially with stout bullets, I feel like they're extra great. I don't know if it. I don't know if stout's based off of distance travel and time, time alive, though. But, I mean, this is, like, incredible. Hyper Light Blaster. I've not had it in a while. It's pretty good with, um, Holy Grail, though, I think. Like, just naturally. I have not had it in a while. I'm really happy to get it. Okay, ooh. Double Vision, finally. Five o'clock somewhere, Synergy, I imagine. Mm. No, Dwarven Stout. I think it just makes your uh, stout, sh stout bullets better. This is great. This is great. This is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Not to mention the fact that it's obviously very, very good with the Hyperlite as well. Cute. Trying to get close up. Not that it matters. We got to be hitting the boss damage cap. So fun that we've actually played Hyper Light Drifter now. What a very good video game. Oh, Nelly. It's a very good video game. We get Ice Cube today. That would be disgustingly good. But yeah, uh, oop. you know what? I'm aiming like, uh, like our aim doesn't matter here. But it do, though. It do, though. Okay. This is some grossness. This is some grossness. Yeah. I think this is our... I think this is our best bet for damage, to be honest. I think it's super reliable, super easy. Don't have to finagle with charging. I think it's just a, a golden goose right here. Thank you. I was a little worried that wasn't going to be one cycle. Little worried. Thank you. I appreciate that HP. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. I think we're uh, out of here, though. Yeah. I thought there was a chance. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> oh, oh, nice meme. 
Nice eyeball destroying meme. Next. Why is every run bonkers OP? Boom, boom, boom. It is what, you know, it's what I always say with roguelikes. It's, it's like, anybody who's like, who is sad enough to say, the only reason you're on a, uh, 350, 400 streak is because you get so lucky. You need to realize how hilarious that statement is. Nobody's possibly said that before, We don't. People have said that. That <laughs> without any shred of irony. You don't you don't get a streak that big with with luck. But it, it's just like you, you play the game long enough. And this is what happens. You play the game long enough so that you can handle when the game serves you stupid RNG, like the beginning of the game did. And, uh, like, I'm not, like, I'm not saying, oh, I'm a pro gamer, yada, yada, whatever, but it's like, the thing is, I played this game so much that I'm good enough, and it's not like, I'm so good at this game. I played this game so much that I can be served that garbage and not, and not die, you know, so that I get to the point of the run where the black market shows up. Because the way the Magnificence works, it's like, you're supposed to get good stuff throughout the course of the run. Statistically, you're going to get something good throughout your Gungeon run. Do you know how to utilize that item? Maybe not. You might not know how to utilize the item. Or maybe you get, uh, maybe you get Gilded Hydra as your only quote-unquote good item. Yes, that can happen, and yes, that's bad RNG. But, st this not, that's not happening every run. Okay, so we've officially got to, uh, two totem poles. Unless it doesn't show up in this room for some reason. Uh, okay. Avert your eyes. Oh my god, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. It hurts. It bans us! It bans us! Just go back to the Hyperlight Blaster. With the, uh, d Dwarven Stout business going on. Oh, it's juicy as hell. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's what it is. I think Gungeon, Gungeon is a game, you know, you may not like it, but it's true that there is less RNG in Gungeon than other roguelikes, so you just have to play more if you want to get good. You just got to play more, and then you'll win. It's like, there's a reason. It's, e it's, it's easier to streak, like... If in a playing field where everyone, everyone in this whatever this mythical competition that's not real, close your eyes. Oh my god, uh, that's not real is playing Enter the Gungeon with 1,000 hours. I would wager people with 1,000 hours in Enter the Gungeon could have a much higher streak than people with 1,000 hours in Slay the Spire at Ascension 20 um, or uh, Binding of Isaac, Binding of Isaac even. You know, a thousand hours in, in those games, I'd say a, a streak in Gungeon is easier to achieve because it is more based on player skill. And that's exciting. That's It's good. It's good. It's not, not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But the thing is, you know, like everyone's just like, ah, yeah, you, you've only got, you only won this much because of luck. You have to realize how hilarious the st that statistical, that statistical proposition is. You know, just just know that it's based off of amount of hours played. It's not even I'm not even tooting my own horn. I'm just saying I'm saying literally anyone could win as much. I think I think anybody could win as much as I had. I do if they played the same amount of hours. I think it's just that kind of a game, to be honest. I think it's that kind of a game. I've just played a hell of a lot of it. Maybe, maybe I'm 10% better than the average person who's played the same hours. But even that, I would wager, is not even because of me being inherently good. I'd say that's probably because I I probably have more hours in rogue likes in general. Games like it, you know? Like, you have to factor in all that stuff. It's just like... And the thing is, you, you, you play the game enough... You can deal with those duty situations where you get the garbage start, you know? And it's not its not great. It's not fun. It is, like, maybe it's hard. But if you get through it, 
the game has a, a stat called Magnificence that is there to uh, ensure that you uh, you get some stuff, but also don't get too much stuff. But then days like this do happen. You know, we got a lot of our OP things from uh, external sources, not from chests. We got it from the, the black market is obviously a very good RNG role. But look at everything we have at this point. We got Ring of Triggers from the chest and uh, Stout from, uh, from a shop. A lot of our best stuff came from things that weren't the black market. Yes, we got the AK-47, but we probably would have been, wouldn't have been able to afford most of the keys anyways. We got Vulcan Cannon from a bot. It's just, you know, we got a good good RNG roll today, but we only got it because we, uh, we didn't die when we got the bad RNG roll, you know? I'm just saying. I'm just, all I'm saying is it's not luck, but it's also not as impressive as people, you know, I, I'm just saying like either or it's also, it's not as impressive as you think, but it's also not luck. That's all I'm getting at. <laughs> don't worship me, but also don't say it's randomness because that's, that's demeaning to other people who, uh, who want to get good. And it's also, it's giving them the wrong idea. It's just not the facts. It's just not the facts. It's not an RNG. There's RNG involved. Some runs are are way better than others, but the run variance, the uh, the 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 delta, if you will, the run variance between the bad runs and the good runs, do not even come close to the same universe as they do in Binding of Isaac. <laughs> that you can get a very bad Eden, like Eden run, especially. You can get a bad one. You can start with trash, and you can't drop your items in Isaac. <laughs> you might be able to reroll them, but you can't drop your items in Isaac. You can drop your items in Gungeon, and none of them are like, what's the worst thing? Bloody Blade Scarf can get you hit, but not like even if you use that right, you can. It's a good thing if you use it right. I'm just too lazy to use it to use it right. Uh, it's just yeah. There's there's very 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 few things in Gungeon. Close your eyes. Whoop. Hey. Bada boop. There's very few things in Gungeon. Just, just, just in general. Oh, man. One totem pole. One totem pole. We freaking did it. We're one away from getting what we need. But that's going to do it for today. Greatly appreciate any all spoilers leave on the series up at this point. Extra special shout out to Ounsu, Throbo, Dhex, and Nadelric for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. If you want a shout out at the end of every Gungeon episode, join the Hall of Heroes Hall of Fame. Patreon.com slash Retromation. There's all kinds of rewards. There's a link in the description. But you can either get uh, for five dollars here, you get the Discord roll, sneak peek into early access rewards, and you get your name on the characters in all games where I roll random generated character names. So you get a hell of a lot of stuff for the five dollar tier. In addition to the fact that knowing that you uh, are helping support the channel, helping me do this as my full time job to help kind of balance out the nastiness of ups and downs of online, you know, messiness with YouTube, whatever the hell. It's up to you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Extra special thank you, to, though, to Alex, Throbo, D-Hex, and Nudelric, newly christened. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for daily roguelike videos and more. See you next time.